Hey friends, I hope you're doing well. Today I'm going to be doing a review of the new Lanham Face Mask type. The specific type that I purchased is the Blue Claw. These have been compared to the Fast and Free. The difference is that the actual inside of the leg does not have a seam. So it will have that gusset that's supposed to stop camel toe, which we'll see. Um, however, there is no seam on the actual interior of the leg. So that way when you run, you're going to have very smooth stride and you're not going to have any kind of chipping. A little bit more about the type from the website is that it is a new lux fabric designed for running. The main features is that there is a back pocket continuous draw cord and there is no inseam, as I mentioned. I'm going to show you what they look like on and then I will also give you my review of how they actually feel when I take them for a run because I haven't done that yet. So pants, they kind of feel like they could fall down at any minute. They do have a little drawstring so I'm going to need to find that. They're smooth, honestly not as much compression as people like to say. Like I said, there's no seam right here. They definitely feel roomy. I really like to wear the Camel Train, and these feel bigger than that. In comparison, I wear a line that's like the same size as well. I don't size down like a lot of people do, and the lines almost feel tighter than these. It could just be a sizing consistency. They definitely do not feel tight or compressive. It's time for a review of the base case legging. As I mentioned earlier, I was nervous about these falling down. So I did tighten the drawstring as much as possible. And I do also wear a running belt. So I'm sure that helped, but I didn't have any issues with them falling down. They do feel comfortable when you're running in them. I don't feel any type of rubbing, even though the fabric is thin. Again, I personally don't feel much compression from them. I could be used to Wonder Trains, but I just don't get the compression vibe. They don't have a hemmed opening, so that could be part of it too. One thing I didn't notice is that there's these little guys here. So at first I was kind of nervous thinking, was a defect, but it's not built for me. It's just a mental blip. I'm not really sure the purpose of it. I would think they would leave it off, but it is what it is. In terms of the sweat wicking factor, I do not see any signs of sweat whatsoever, whether inside or out. With that said, it does feel damp, particularly the waistband area. So of course, the sweat from my torso will gather there. I'm pretty impressed with that. That means they're definitely race proof because no one's going to be able to see through your pants. I don't know if a lighter color would also have the same effect, but at least with Symphony Blue, we are definitely set. So you can see I did um, bring the waist band out a lot. I untied it before taking them off. I'm not sure if I should potentially go a size down to get a little bit more compression, but they do feel nice. That sums up my review of the base case tight. I hope that this was helpful. If you do have any questions, please feel free to comment down below. Overall, I would say that this tight is completely worth buying. I think I might get another one. It may be in a different color. I think I'm gonna pick up a second pair, possibly in a size down, just to compare. If I do, I will definitely leave an update in the description down below. As always, if you like this video and found it helpful, then please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you all next time.